Hey besties and thank you so much for joining me in today's video and welcome if you're new. I am so excited and thankful because Fleur sent me over their new hair and body mist and honestly these Fleur body mists are so beautiful. I love the presentation. It's definitely giving like Sol de Janeiro but a step up and I really like that. They look a little more bougie don't you guys think? I really love these bottles. And I think the colors are so appealing to the eyes. These are just so beautiful, especially this shade right here. The funny thing is, I thought this one would be the one I love the most, but actually that was not the case. You'll have to keep watching to see my favorite, or you can just skip along ahead if you want to as well, if you don't like surprises. I will link these down below. I am so excited to have them and so thankful. Even if they didn't send them to me, you guys know I can't help myself. I would have bought them on my own. But to have them sent over was just really, really cool. And I do appreciate it, Fleur, if you're watching. Starting with Vanilla Sky. Now, these are going to be my second impressions. I did my first impressions on my TikTok. I will link that down below or just put it on the screen like I always do. Vanilla Sky is the one, are we surprised, that I'm most excited for. I thought it would be Amber Haze. But that one really does remind me of like Baccarat Rouge, Baccarat Rouge 540. And for me, this one doesn't really remind me of much. If anything, it's this really beautiful, sugary, sweet, warm and cozy vanilla scent that I just adore. For me, I think the note of cashmere wood has to be one of my favorite notes and fragrances because I just think the texture on this fragrance is lovely. Not only that, it's the one I'm wearing around the house all day today, and I do get a good amount of projection, which I love. I'm not sure about longevity yet, but I can tell you, this is so, so beautiful. I really love it. Let me go ahead and share the notes, and then we'll talk about her a little bit more. Top notes of sugar, pink pepper, and red apple. Middle notes of cashmere wood, jasmine, and lily, and base notes of vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, and agar wood. For me, this is a very beautiful, easy reach, don't have to think about it, you're going to smell amazing, and beautiful type vanilla. There is something kind of special to it, I have to say I love this, and I haven't smelled something that smells quite like this. For me, I would say the same kind of sugar and apple you're getting in the new Ellis Brooklyn Apple Love. You pick up on a little bit in this fragrance, which I do like. That one is definitely more kind of shampoo-y than this one. This one is really beautiful, sweet, vanillic, sugary, and lightly woody. This is absolutely stunning. I think it's going to be the easiest blind buy if you're contemplating buying any of these fragrances. Now, let me tell you guys about Mango Mood. Mango Mood was the fragrance out of them all where... If I'm being honest, I thought I would like it, but not love it. It opens up super juicy. You really get that mango, and to me, the mango juice is, like, very, very realistic that I'm getting in here. A little bit, of course, more sweet and syrupy. But this is really incredible. It's brown sugar, mango, patchouli, and for me, the patchouli and the fragrance... It does make it smell a little seductive. It's spicy, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's warm. I really like this one. And again, I think for summer date nights, this one is going to be impeccable. I feel like if you mixed this perfume, or sorry, this body mist with Zara Hibiscus, you would just be giving all the summer date night vibes. I think this one is absolutely stunning. Uh, my hair is curled, it's down, and maybe I'm wearing like a long sundress. That's just the vibe I'm kind of creating in my mind for when I'm wearing this. So, so beautiful. Now you have to like patchouli because it is present in this fragrance. I just feel like, for me personally, I don't hate patchouli, so I'm not going to hate this. But if you do, I would definitely sample it, like smell it in store before you do buy. But I really want a perfume version of all of these mists. They smell so good, and I'm so happy to have them. And I love that you can put these in your hair, because I definitely will be doing that. Top notes of mango, black currant, and pink pepper. Middle notes of jasmine sandback, lotus, and orris. And base notes of patchouli, brown sugar, and vanilla absolute. And it's like I always say, like I do like patchouli. 
There just have to be like fruity elements or some type of gourmands surrounding it for me to actually like and enjoy the note. Which I do in here, I really do. Lastly, we have Amber Haze, and Amber Haze does put me in the mindset of Baccarat Rouge 540. It puts me in the mindset of Sol de Janeiro's Charosa 68, but this is definitely a bit more like dark in my opinion. It's more ambery, it's more metallic, it has more of that medicinal aspect to it. So for that reason, for me personally, I do still prefer my Charosa 68. I just think this one is more fruity and sweet and a little bit more upbeat and lighter, whereas this one is definitely a bit darker, more ambery. For sure, date night appropriate. I do really like it. Of course I really like it though. It's, it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Not exact, of course, but similar. So for me, I think that's why I'm not as excited about this one as the others. It is really good, but for me, I mean, I'm still getting that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA that I have in so many other fragrances. Now, if this one lasts longer than Sol de Janeiro, I'll update you on that and let you know. But for me, yeah, I like that sweet, fruity vibe I get in that one. It's a little bit more fresh, in my opinion, too. There's a little fresh aspect to it that I don't get in this fragrance. It's not as airy. Yeah, let me go ahead and read the notes on this one, too. Top note of saffron, middle note of jasmine, and base notes of amber, oak moss, vanilla, and musk. And in my opinion, I think if the vanilla was a bit more pronounced and the oak moss, the very prominent oak moss, was dialed back just a little bit, I would love the fragrance. Right now, this one is a like, but I think it'd be a love if that was the case. I feel like, though, if you do like 68, but it's a little too sweet for you, this would be perfect. And you want something that's just straight to the point, smells more expensive, and in my opinion, a little bit deeper. This is really pretty. It still maintains a level of airiness, but in my opinion, like I said, I still think 68 for me is gorgeous. It's still my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one all over. I love vanilla skin, so pretty. Such a beautiful scent. If I had to rank them, I would definitely say vanilla skin number one, See, I love the fact that this one smells expensive because I know what it's duping and that fragrance is so, so pricey and this is very close. But then it's like, it's not super original. This one kind of gives me the vibe of like Hibiscus from Zara and it's a little bit more, like it has more depth to it though than that fragrance. So... I'm gonna say like for year round, I feel like this one is better. And then for summer, this one is going to be absolutely 100% something I would gravitate towards definitely more. But yeah, that's my short review of the new Fleur Body Mist. If you've also tried them, I would love to know and I'm so curious about how would you rank these fragrances? Which one is your favorite? And how do you feel about them? I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It lets me know know you enjoy and keeps me creating more and I will see you in the next one and if you're partaking in the Sephora sale happy shopping bye besties